weeks ago, I posted about the typhoon Odette aftermath. How our house fared after the typhoon, the leaks, the damages, my dad's place, what happened to it, and the entire Cebu, kung ano yung mga nangyayari, some snippets of it. But I felt like it didn't actually put you right inside the typhoon. It didn't tell the entire story. Maybe 10%. Because guys, I had to place earmuffs on Chris because she was having an anxiety attack. Parang my giant with a sledgehammer hammering away at our roof. Tutok na tutok kami sa CCTV ni Scott so that we can see how his room was faring, whether there was windows broken. And it was one of the most scariest moments of my life. So naisip ko na, oh, may CCTV tayo dito sa bahay. Maybe it recorded it. Well, there was power outage and everything else. Pero I'm happy to say after checking about six CCTVs around the house, Merong sa living room, merong sa clean kitchen, merong sa garage namin, the back of our house, the service area namin. Makikita pala dun yung intensity ng typhoon. So I'm very, very excited to share these footages with you just so that you would know kung ano talaga ang nararamdaman namin to be inside typhoon that. Let's check it out. Okay, we have Chris with us because... I wanted to see her expression while seeing the videos here. I saw some, but not all. Yeah, skim skim through lang yung pinapakita ko. Like, oh, it's grabe. We have about six areas in the house na may nakukuha. But looking back at the CCTV footage, parang it's even more intense than I remember it to be. I remember the whole time we were hiding in the closet. Slater had his phone and he was just looking at the CCTV. Like, all of the, the rooms rest in of the, the house. house. Yeah, it's just like... So he was like, oh my god, grab an service. Oh my god, grab uh, an Or, oh no, the CCTV is down na. Parang, and then we heard a like loud bang. And I was like, okay, I'm sure the, the windows are broken now. Yeah, and then no more internet, so no more CCTV. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So this is kind of like the first time that we're, we're going to watch it together, no? Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is about 5 p.m. So medyo relax pa lang. There was a few rains. But you can see na normal life lang. We really didn't expect na the typhoon was going to be this strong. So if you just check out the videos here. Just having normal life. Like we're playing Pau with Scotty. We're, we prepared a little bit. But not too much. You can see we put the outdoor furniture inside already at this point. Yeah. But nothing else. Nothing else. You're pretty chill. Uh-huh. Though on the inside, I was scared now. Yeah? Yeah. You kind of expected it to be yeah. strong. Because uh, me, like, parang, ah, it's going to be strong, but like, not to see that the is strong. Really. I, actually, I was expecting it to be super strong, but every time I tried to talk to you about it, you were so chill. <laughs> so, parang, okay, baka okay lang ako. Ganun yeah. yung feeling. Yeah, it's just a normal evening. Like, we didn't expect anything much, talaga. So, like, Chris and I were still eating, and then, so I remember this, our brother in law called. And he was asking, na, bro, yung ano namin, yung glass namin, parang nagbebend na daw. And we didn't feel it here yet. Mm -mm. So I was like, huh? Oh, well, just put something on it and stay away from the windows. Yun lang yung advice ko. And I didn't take it, like, seriously. I remember you asked him, is your glass tempered or not? Yes. Tapos said, sabi niya, no. And then Slater said, di ko na alam. Parang, Para yeah. wala ka na magawa, uh, diba? Like, wala ka magawa right now. The best you can probably do is lagyan mo ng sofa on, or, or like something heavy para hindi siya nagbe-bend. Like, may extra support siya. But that's about it. And, and stay, stay away. away from the windows. And little did we know na the next day, sobrang sira yung bahay nila. I think at this point, 30 minutes after the, this call, yeah. doon na nagsimula yung... Yung malakas. Malakas na, sa kanila. Yeah. Like, yeah. grabe na yung effect sa kanila. Oh, and all our house panels are tempered, so there were a lot of people asking kung bakit hindi nasira. I would say a lot of it has to do with being tempered. According to my dad, it's like five times stronger, so... Oh, even okay. at this point, parang hindi pa ako takot eh. Like, usap-usap lang, like, huh? Ganyan kalakas dyan, yung parang ganyan. Because also, a lot of people were saying na 10 p.m. pa dadating. Uh, yes, yeah. So, at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, chill pa tayo. Mm -hmm. I remember this. We were eating and we were getting prepared pa. And Chris was starting to get scared na. Yeah, because I have rain trauma. This one, I was looking at um, 
Instagram for updates about Shargao. Kasi oh, nasira na yung Shargao. Yeah. 2 p.m. sila. Sabi ko, shocks love it. They posted that it's getting super strong na. But and then ngayon, no updates. Feeling mm. ko naputo na yung signal nila. Ganun kalala. Yeah. I was saying that. It was around 7 na. If you notice, bigla akong tumayo. And I called Chris because... It moved. Yeah. Very slight dito, but in real life, like this whole panel here at the back, it moved. It shook. So parang sabi ko, okay, let's stay away from the windows na. So I called Chris. That is when I realized, okay, this is uh, going to be a different type of typhoon. Yeah, it's it's super chill here pa ha, considering na takot na tayo at this uh, point. This was 7 pa, 7. Like the peak was at around 9. Yeah. And then we we're fixing pa leaks. Like yung worry ko pala was like leaks. Hindi pa yung uh, life is going to be very difficult or like the house will be shaking. Akala mo leaks lang. Leaks lang. So, okay, this has never leaked before, but let's fix it. Tingnan. So, we taped towels to the parts of the ceiling that were leaking. Mhm. Mm this is until like 7 and, and then the CCTV cut off na. Hmm? And 9:15 kikita na natin sa left side of the video parang everything is wet. But it's moving, oh. It's moving. Oh. The glass was moving. Ah, okay. But it's leaking already. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. It's like shaking. Yeah, it's still shaking now. And it has never leaked here before because it was coming from all different directions from the ceiling. So, kita natin grabe yung leaks. Uh, so, 10 o'clock, medyo it's you vlogging na. na. It's vlogging na. So, this is where, like, medyo okay na. So, it was okay ma ma around 10 na pala. On the living room side, meron tayong CCTV din. And this is, I feel, more intense. Mas na feel natin. This is around 7.42. So, I'm like, come on, Sky, let's go. Ah, relax, na relax, pa, hindi pa. No, I was scared, na. Scared, na, pa yeah, dito. But this is the sound, like, shh. And then, sa roof namin, may banging noise. Bang, bang, bang. There. Look, whoa. 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 Hey, I didn't see that before. Whoa. Tidal wave. It's oh my god, storm surge, sa pool crazy. natin. Wow. Holy crap. Good thing this is all steel, dude. Good thing this is all steel. It has it can flex a little bit, and good thing the glass did not break. Imagine if the glass broke, and this whole thing, this whole area, goodbye. Probably yung roof natin lipad. Wait, grabe yung nag storm nag storm surge yung pool. Di ko expect yun. We don't have power already at this point. We were using the generator now. Yeah, I remember. Since afternoon generator. We have a project light block na high rise. So we, were, we called up the engineer, kumusta yung project? Sabi niya, okay lang, pero meron siyang story. On every high rise, there's a seismic detector, like kung gaano ka intense. It's part of the requirement of building a high rise. Yeah, and it registered an intensity 3 earthquake sa high rise na yun. So if you see our house shaking, it's kind of like that also, I feel. This point, Nakajansa tayo, di ba? Mm. We still had Wi-Fi. Yeah. And I remember they were texting, Mom, okay, ramo din ha? Yeah. I remember, but yeah. I didn't want to reply to them because I didn't want to exit the CCTV, CCTV Scott. Scott. Yeah. yeah. But sweet of them to think of us pa. Yeah. Kasi sila mas safe sila sa likod, konti lang yung glass nila. Yes, and mas maraming walls. And all, yeah, mga light blocks. So mm. parang solid yung space nila. Yeah. Takot sila for us. Sabi namin, bakit kayo lumalabas? Stay inside. Because they hear noises. Uh -oh. They hear like loud banging. So uh -oh. they wanted to check if the house is still okay. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa kanila, stop going in, in and, and out, out of the house because baka matamaan pa kayo. At this point, I remember you kept telling me, whatever you do, don't go out of this closet. Like, bahala na yung bahay. We can, we can rebuild, but like, hindi na, napapalitan yung buhay. Yeah. It's not so bad here in the CCTV, but the sound in real life was really like nakakatakot. Yeah. Like parang nasa box ka, tapos may giant sa labas na. Muffled kasi na ganun yung box. Yeah. Super scary. Whoa. 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 Another storm surge. Like the CCTV moved. It's bolted to a steel column and it moved. So that entire solid wall moved. where we can see now moved. So. I want to see the back. This is how kalma I was. Like what time is this? 3:40 pa. 3:40. I was working. You can see my computer was still on. This is the back of the house. This is my office, and then Chris's office, and then a little bit forward, 
is Scotty's room. room. I remember that I was at this point. I was already telling all my clients like. If you need my OR today, reply by like this time. Because by 6 p.m., I'm not going to work. Typhoon na, uh-huh. and I heard na. As in, nasa email ko talaga proof na baka wala kami kuryente ha for one week. As in, baka matagal pa ako makareply. So reply, ganon. Like, yeah. And then I remember you were still business as usual. Like, I'm going to post this tomorrow. La, la, la. I said, love, typhoon. Like, do understand. <laughs> diba? I kept Meron saying... Mga Zoom meetings scheduled for the next day. I, said, I kept saying, love, they will understand because my typhoon coming. But that sets the tone like of the how funny I was compared to yeah, you. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like yeah. I, I was like, oh, it's an ordinary typhoon. Yeah, blackout for maybe like one day. And tapos na. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> guys, three weeks now. Wala pa rin kami uh, <laughs> Check this out, guys. Nakita niyo yung, yung forest sa likod. Wala na tawag ngayon. It's flat. It's, there. it's flat. Grassland. Grassland. And eto mga trees, some of these trees actually swayed and like tap, nagta tap lang siya on Scotty's window. Buti na lang sinabi ko sa one of our helpers here na let's cut it down. That branch. Because that branch might hit pag nagsi sway. I'm super happy we did that because that would have smashed. Scotty's window. Scotty's window while yeah. he was there during that night. Yeah, and we weren't with him. We were like out and about, so oh. scary. You can see the crazy oh, shaking. Oh. oh, look at that fog. It's a like, crazy rain. And this is what I expected. Parang ganito lang, hanggang dito lang. My, my, my. <laughs> were we wrong? How wrong we were. Tsaka akala pa natin na siguro tayo yung pinakamalala kasi glass, puro glass yung house. Yeah, yeah. Pero swerte na pala kami. Uh oh. And sobrang swerte namin because I, I would say the house was well built because itong fence na to, itong with the barbed wires and everything it creates an updraft kasi may cliff siya eh. so when wind hits it parang nag up siya and it hits the roof buti na lang nothing got broken nothing got so if it hits off. the roof ganon the roof will fly out so that example part. ito yung fence then dito yung room wall natin then dito yung roof okay so mag updraft dito shh, shh, so this yeah oh no wonder pushing. that's the that's view what, that's our view when you were in the closet. That small window yeah, on top yeah. of our sink. That's why you were very, very scared. That was our view. <laughs> yeah, like and our roof was fly. But, oh my god, and the sound. Yeah. That was why I was panic attack. Yeah. Because you can feel like the pressure ng hangin. It's like. Nasa airplane ka. Nasa airplane ka because you can see the ceiling breathe. Yeah, the ceiling. Can you imagine our ceiling was doing this? Yeah. Like what? Inside what the house. The hell? Uh-oh. Creepy. Buti na lang talaga engineer ka love. You can see oh, it's shaking, it's moving. The ending of this is this CCTV got ripped off from where it was. Right after the bagyo, we have no footage na. So this is around 7 na. So this is starting to get intense na here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There, you can start to feel what it was like. But the trees are still there. These trees, wala na to ngayon, guys. Is that the house moving or is that because I of the I think it's blob? a CCTV or the ceiling because this, the CCTV uh, is mounted on the ceiling. It's probably moving. It's like no protection for the CCTV. It's under attack. Grabe. Wala na. This is crazy na. Wild. Yeah. All those little leaks, parang nakakapasok pa rin because... The wind was the everywhere, man. The wind was like man. everywhere. Like hurricane levels. Oh. Look, oh, na upo na ang tree. Wala na, wala na yung tree. Yeah. The trees are falling. Whoa. Diba, like, you can't see wind, right? It's just, it just blows. But yeah. the, you can see the wind. You can see it. Like, <laughs> there's no other way to explain it. Yeah. Wala na. It was 8.30 yung pinakamalakas, diba? TY na yun. Oh, wala na, hindi na umabot yung CCTV. Deads yeah, na. Yeah, deads na siya. Yeah, I was shocked, actually, na you said you still had footage. Like, it survived? Yeah. I guess it didn't. I want to see the service area because this is how they were reacting. You can see it pa, this tree was still there. This is early pa, this is 2.35. What was yeah, it? Yeah, 2 o'clock pa lang, no? Look, yeah, super dirty na. So, kalma pa rin, kalma. Just like regular bagyo, regular life. I didn't even keep this pa, oh. Oh, wala pa, wala pa yun. I'm surprised that this roof didn't like get Fly. blown away also. Just to give you an idea of the intensity, just look at the trees in the background. This is still like... 3, 3, 3, 3.30. Sing pa lang, relax pa rin, mukhang wala pa rin nangyayari, everybody is like doing their thing. 7.30. Oh, eto na, this is when we're scared na inside. Yeah, everybody was... I called you 6.55 eh, so... Yeah. Takot na tayong lahat. 
Yep. They were inside now most of the time. Most of the time. Pero meron pa mga walking. You can see... And it's just open by itself, the cabinet door. Yeah. Oh, even the generator door is like oh, opening. Oh, yeah. Buto na lang, dinasira yun, no? Yeah. And you can even see the CCTV shaking. Huh? Yeah. Boom, boom. Whoa, Whoa! Tornado! Like, look at you can see their reactions. Like, what is happening? They're still smiling. <laughs> Probably trying to take a photo. <laughs> you see that? That's a the steel pipe. pipe. Yeah. Like, oh no, that's a steel channel. Fell from the roof. Yep. Stop There's opening the, the door, guys! <laughs> Stay inside! Ano ba kayo? Chismosa, mga marites. <laughs> yeah, see, like, this is all indoor. Like, from that cabinet that you see there, to move forward, that's all that has a roof, pero wala na basana. Actually, the first time I went out, gulat na gulat ako, like, whoa! War zone. War zone. Can you imagine? Hindi pa pala kami ay. Akala namin ay kami ng storm. Oh, so, we were just slightly under, so we were hit by mga two hours of this strong typhoon. Yung mga nasa I, four, five hours. So imagine. Imagine yung level of typhoons uh, among other places like Chargao, like the worst hit part. The CCTV is vibrating. Yeah. I think from the ceiling where it's mounted in. And they're like, look at them. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. But this is safer for them, guys, because the wind was coming from one direction only, and they're behind. Them. In front of them is another house. Yeah. So it's blocking this part. Yeah. I think this is the safest they would. So this is garage area namin before the typhoon hit. Before, after. You can see there's this huge tree. Oh, there's honey. this huge roofing sheet. There's this huge trees. Oh gosh, we're so lucky. Pala we don't have neighbors, no? Yeah. Na right beside us. Because some of our neighbors' houses, nasira yung glass dahil sa roofing ng ibang neighbor. Yeah. yeah. So we're lucky, super lucky namin talaga. Oh, you can't even see anymore. It's yeah. like, there! There! Whoa! Whoa. It flew! Yeah. And we're so lucky that it flew to the concrete part of our roof. <laughs> and didn't hit any glass. And it was this close to hitting our glass. Imagine a container van size bunkhouse where the subdivision stores stuff. And then it came from the right of our this driveway, went all the way down to the that drive house shop. with the red <laughs> roof. So imagine. And I remember at this time we still had Wi-Fi. We were texting with our neighbors, mm. and then our neighbor who's living in that house said, "Na ano yung tumama sa glass namin? Na basag yung glass, parang container van." Oh. Sabi namin shocks that came from the back of our house. Yeah. And layo. Yeah. At the last, last, last is the front, front yeah. yard. So I'm very thankful for Chris because during the morning, if you notice, it's all empty. I told Chris to empty out the, the furniture, but I said, I'll oh, leave the heavy things. Baka okay lang yan, like the, the iron uh, furniture, na, na fireplace, iron chairs, iron the chairs. fireplace. Okay lang Even yan. the pine tree, you said, okay lang yan. Okay lang yan, okay lang yan. Naka-vase na pine tree. Sabi yeah. ko, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. Kasi sabi nila, mas malakas pa daw sa Yolanda. So, tago na natin. Bakit, ah. bakit pa tayo magtitipid? So, I'm thankful for Chris for <laughs> making it clean. Kasi if hindi namin kinlean to, for sure, basag yung windows namin. Basag yung buong house. Yeah. So, it's important pala talaga to get all the outdoor stuff. The camera angle switch. Yeah, kanina pa yun na sa switch-switch. Ito talaga, it moves like a whole lot. Because it's super lakas talaga ng wind. It's a fixed, ano ha? it takes effort to move it by hand. Or imagine yung mga bahay that are just constructed from plywood, kanyan. Like, how scary it must have felt. If, like, tayo nga, we're in a concrete a house. Concrete house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yung pool natin may waves, pwede mag Ooh. Grabe. Intense. I imagine yung mga big mango trees na na-uproot. Yeah. So for sure, walang pag-asa si Cactus. Ito nga, it's swerte na nga si Cactus kasi the wind is coming from the back of the house. And then may mga things to, to block shield it, it yeah. from the wind. Yeah. No, dude. Look at the waves on the Lagi. pool. It's like you can may surf. mini tsunami. It's really scary. I was, just, I was freaking out na at this point. Diba every typhoon that we have here in the Philippines, I'm always scared because yeah. I have this... PTSD from a previous typhoon before and then flooded kami. Yeah, on I was in Manila, I was alone. Na flooded yung bahay. It was a whole thing. So mm -hmm. I'm really scared of strong winds and typhoon and strong sounds. Yeah. So this one was really scary, but I told Slater like, 
Oh my God, our house withstood typhoon yeah. or that. So, di na ako ganong katakot next time. Kasi I'm sure if it's not so strong, Mas okay I will na. live. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ako yung project ko for this year is to like doomsday prep. So I'm planning to make the house more typhoon proof. Like how to make sure that these don't break. Um, yung generator natin, how we can do solar power, ganyan mga. So yung mga renovation natin dito sa bahay, aside from the aesthetics, would be more functional. Like we spend a lot on everything about the home, like aesthetics, aesthetics. yung mga functions, yung mga like puting ting here and there, like making it look nice, but why not spend on function itself, di ba? Yeah, especially now that we have a growing family, we need to keep everyone safe. Those are number one priority, right? Like, yeah. Scotty's CCTV was on the whole time, di ba? <laughs> so, yung CCTV namin ngayon, nag-upgrade na kami into a CCTV that does not require Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, it's like those little things. So, maybe we'll talk about that more in this channel. This video is sponsored by MaxiCare E-Ready Advance. So, this one we actually had before the typhoon hit us. So I was very, very thankful to have this. Meron siyang added peace of mind, especially with all the uncertainties that are going on in the world, not just a typhoon, but health-wise. And this gives you up to 50,000 pesos of emergency room coverage. Kasama na dun yung confinement in a private room in MaxiCare affiliated hospitals nationwide. So you can buy this MaxiCare E-Ready Advance in Shopee or Lazada or you can go to shop.maxicare.com.ph. I'll put the link down below so check them out. So that's it guys. I hope this video has shown a little light on how it was really really like to be inside Typhoon Odette. I'm sure kahit papano, we are one of the lucky ones. We are one of the few lucky ones na Walang masyadong nangyayari dito sa bahay namin, but all our neighbors, even the well-built houses, sirang sira. So, if you really want to help out the victims of Typhoon Odette, we actually created a relief operation. We call it At Share Philippines. We'll put a link to the Instagram account down below and you can see all the details of how to help out. So, we received around 3 million, 3 million plus pesos of donations already everything we share yung transparency report as much as possible through our instagram account and we've been able to help a lot of people especially when it comes to drinking water and not just cebu mabuto kami ng southern leite so i've been very very proud of that so ang members dun is me chris uh chase kokalyong jason gaisano ken ngo and shari thank you so much for all your help and all your support and thank you for all the volunteers and everyone who donated to help out the cause. I'll see you guys next time.